Hello everyone, my name is Anya and today I would like to show you how to make this two-colored scarf with nice waves effect. It has been a long time since my last video due to personal circumstances and I would like to thank all my subscribers for all your patience you showed me. Thank you very much, I hope you will enjoy this tutorial. To make the scarf, I used 3.5 mm hook and around 130 grams of each color of double knitting yarn. This one is 50% wool, 50% acrylic, but any DK yarn will work fine. Just make sure that those two colors work nicely together. I would like to show you now how to do the first part of the project which on its own can create a scarf. I will then show you how to do the second part which is just a mirror of the first part. But if you decide in the middle of the project, oh I just want to use one color and one color is enough, the scarf with just one part finish can work very well on its own. We will start by making foundation chain. So we will twist our yarn and pull one and through. We will insert our hook into a slip knot and we will start making chains. Yarn over, pull through, chain one, yarn over, pull through, chain two, yarn over, pull through, chain three, four, five, six, seven and carry on making foundation chain to the length of your desired scarf. With this pattern it does not matter what the length of your foundation chain is, what the number of chains is. I made all together 262 chains as two last chains will not count and it gave me the length of the middle part of 180 centimeters but between 200 and 220 chains you will have quite nice scarf and not that long because i am tall i always make everything larger and when you reach the required number of chains i will show you how to do the first row we will work double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So I'm not counting the loop on my hook but those V shapes after this loop. So one, two. We will not work in those two chains but into the third chain. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into this third chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over, pull through two loops. And this is your first double crochet made and we will carry on working double crochet into each chain of our foundation chain and this chain two will not count as a stitch. So in this pattern we are only counting double crochets. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over, pull through two loops, two double crochet and carry on working your double crochet into each chain of this foundation chain until you reach the end. And again, in the last chain you will need to work double crochet. So carry on working your double crochet and I will show you how to do your next row. Next two rows will be worked in exactly the same way. We will start by making chain two and this chain two will not count as a stitch. We'll need to turn our work round and into this first double crochet, so into this space here, we will work one double crochet. 
and we will work one double crochet into every double crochet from the previous round. So into each double crochet from the first row, we will work one double crochet and carry on working double crochet into each double crochet from the previous round and make two rows exactly the same. So all together you will have three rows of double crochet. We will start this round by working chain two, which will not count as a stitch. We will need to turn our work round and into this first double crochet, we will work double crochet. We will work chain one and into each of the next double crochet, we will work one double crochet followed by chain one. So into each double crochet from the previous round, we will be working double crochet and then chain one. So right now we are creating this waves effect and carry on working like this up until you reach the end. And of course, at the end, after the last double crochet, you will not need to work chain one. So after last double crochet, just finish on double crochet. We'll start again by working chain two, which will not count as a stitch. We'll turn our work round and we'll work double crochet into this first double crochet. Chain one. Double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain one. Double crochet into the next double crochet chain one and we'll work double crochet into each double crochet from the previous row followed by chain one. So double crochet into each double crochet and then chain one. And just please remember that into the last double crochet, you just work double crochet without chain one. We will start by working chain two, which will not count as a stitch. We will need to turn our work round and we will work double crochet into first double crochet. Chain one. One double crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one. One double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain one. One double crochet into chain one space and chain one again. And into each double crochet of the previous round, we will be working double crochet and then chain one. And into each chain one space, we will be working again double crochet plus chain one. And carry on working double crochet, chain one into each double crochet and each chain one space. And when you reach last double crochet, just make double crochet without chain one. Next two rows, which are going to be the last rows of this side, will be worked in exactly the same way. So we will start by working chain two, which does not count as a stitch. We need to turn our work round and we will work double crochet into this first double crochet. chain one and we will be working double crochet into each double crochet of the previous round with chain one after. So after every double crochet into the next double crochet, we'll be working chain one. So again, double crochet into the next double crochet and chain one. Double crochet into the next double crochet and chain one and carry on working double crochet followed by chain one into every double crochet of the previous round and into the last double crochet 
just remember to work double crochet without this chain one after and when you have finished the last two rows so this one and next one which will be working exactly the same way fasten off and within your end I will now show you how to do the second part of our scarf and we will be using a new color yarn the second part is a mirror of the first part so we will be using exactly the same stitches in exactly the same combination the most important part is to get your first row right so you will be using your foundation chain but working in the opposite direction to your first part and to get your stitches right the best way to insert your hook will be to insert it just under the post of double crochet each double crochet from the first row of the first part we can now start the second part of our scarf which will be a mirror image of our first part and what we need to do where you started your foundation chain we will be working again into this foundation chain working double crochet into each chain so we will start by making a slip knot so twist your yarn and pull one and through insert your hook into the slip knot tighten it yarn over the hook and hold it with your finger now the most important thing is to find the first chain so where you have your double crochets with the second one it's a lot easier because it is just above the double crochet here I will move it closer so you can see it just so this is your second double crochet and it is just here so we will need to insert our hook into first chain and this is needs to be somewhere here where you have your first double crochet yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops and now it is going to be a lot easier because we will be working above those double crochets here so above this second double crochet make another double crochet and we will carry on like this so again above the next double crochet we will work next double crochet and again next so just in this space here double crochet and again next double crochet just above the double crochet and we will carry on working double crochet where you when you insert your hook just above this post of double crochet you will have your double crochet in line with the double crochet of the first part and carry on working double crochet up until you reach the end 